The New York Times had an op-ed that I absolutely loved. It was written by Tony Schwartz, and he talked about relaxation and how the more you relax, the more likely it is that you will be productive in your job. Now that goes against everything we've learned in the States, right? Work, 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 work. You're tired, too bad. Drink a cup of coffee, keep working. That's right. But that actually makes you unproductive. All right. Uh, okay. Here's what I, Tony Schwartz, bum. No, okay, Tony Schwartz <laughs> is not a bum, and I will give you specific examples about uh, our work environment and mm. how mm. you, since you don't get enough rest, you are unproductive. Oh, okay. All right. Nonsense. But before, all right, go ahead. All right, go but ahead. before we get to that, I want I want to uh, read you a few snippets from his piece that I thought uh, were telling. Uh, he says multidisciplinary research shows that strategic renewal, including daytime workouts, short afternoon naps, longer sleep hours, more time away from the office, and longer, more frequent vacations, boost productivity, job performance, and of course health. Yeah. And the reason why that happens is because. First of all, if you're rested, you're relaxed, you're able to focus on what you're doing, oh, okay? You can absorb okay. what you're doing. Like oh. for instance, you're the worst. When I'm tired and I'm reading articles, I can't focus, I can't absorb what I'm reading. I have so to read it So you should take a nap in the middle of the day. No, don't take a nap in the middle of the day, but you, there are little things that you can do. For instance, okay, if you are lucky enough to have a, a, a break room or something where you can lay down for just a few minutes, that's cool. But if you don't have that opportunity, definitely take your lunch break. People don't take their lunch breaks. And he's saying, step away from the desk, all right? Mm -hmm. Go out for lunch, get away from the office, grab a bite to eat. Why are you laughing okay, like that? All right. Okay, so, so listen, listen. So should you get eight hours of sleep? Will it make you more productive, et cetera? Yes, okay? Now, so I'm not dismissing it out of hand. Of course mm -hmm. not, right? But this is a luxury. It's, it's like when rich people say like, oh, you know what, you don't need money. And that's because you already have money, right? And it's easy for you to say you don't need money because you already have it and you're not worried about paying the rent and it's not stressing you out. Right? So this is a person who doesn't have to work a ton telling you, hey, you know what, it turns out if I take a nap in the middle of the day, I work a little better. <laughs> well, if I could take a nap in the middle of the day, I'd take one too, okay, right? Okay. And the things I do afterwards might be slightly more productive, except that I would have missed it half an hour of the day, which I can't miss. Jenk, some of these suggestions are not that difficult, okay? He's not like suggesting that you should take a siesta every day. It, it, he's saying that, you know, find time in your day for yourself. Work out, okay? Whether it's in the morning or whatever it is, that definitely boosts your energy levels, okay? Mm -hmm. At least I agree. get eight hours of sleep. You sleep like four hours. It's like three in the morning, you get emails from Jake, and then at six in the morning when you wake up, you get emails from Jake, and it's like, <laughs> go to sleep. But we, but look, here, I run the company, we got a, a two hour show here, and we got an hour TV show. So I don't have the luxury of writing an editorial a week and be like, I think I'm gonna be more productive on Wednesday if I sleep through Tuesday. Okay, I guess you would be, but that's not the luxury here, we have here. Here's another thing that's important to do, and most Americans don't do it. Take your vacation time. Don't feel guilty about it, don't worry about it. And look, I, I, I feel like I need to take my own advice here because I rarely take like a three week vacation or whatever. Three week vacation? Yeah. Oh man, this Tony Schwartz, man, he put me in trouble. I got no interest in Tony Schwartz. So what other I nonsense just, does I would, he have? I would like to announce that I am going to Costa Rica for three oh. weeks. <laughs> I would like to announce that she isn't. <laughs> And he's the only person who's allowed to nap on the job here. Dave Kohler, only because his grandfather did. Okay, because he's been napping on the job for 10 no, straight Dave's years. Dave's naps are the best. This is, this is Dave on a daily basis. Okay. Now, now, Dave's been with the company from the beginning, okay? And, but I know Dave personally, I've known him for over 30 years. He is a legendary micro-napper. Mm -hmm. To be fair to Dave, the naps only last five minutes. Okay, he's not like us, you guys, in 48 minutes. Yeah, that's okay, true. All right. Okay, yeah. but a little power nap isn't a bad idea, so Dave is actually playing it right. Mm -hmm. um, and also, That's why he's been with the company for so long. Exactly. <laughs> and, and just so I keep my promise, look, Jake, when you're tired, it's totally obvious on the show. Like you're you're kind of grumpy. You don't listen to what I'm saying. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. What you totally, say? Totally. Don't come on. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. Look again. Am I more energized on Mondays after I've actually had taken a half a day off on Saturday and three quarters of a day on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I am. Uh, as I am today, and I'm having a good time, etc. Right? Uh, but it's just again, it's a matter of luxury. So okay, I could do shows for three days out of the week. Then those three shows might be a little better. 
but then you don't have 40% of your shows. Right, and so he's, not saying, he's not saying like don't go to work two days out of the week. Like he's just saying he's every a every dude. every ninety yeah. minutes, you know, get up from your desk, walk around a little bit, maybe socialize, just take a moment of relaxation mentally, and then People go back. People socialize and work. too much, yada yada yada. Okay, oh, how was the weather? Who gives a shit? Get back to work. Can I get some backup here, <laughs> by I'm, the way? I'm not, like, I'm not sure if you mentioned this part, but <laughs> it's the health aspect. It's, yes. You said the, the going and working out in the morning helps. But I remember Anna was stressing over, this is years ago now, was stressing over, she read a study about when people sit at their computer too long. Oh, I stress about that till this day. And then your legs day. like yeah, die off idea. or something. Because, because or the stress life should kill you much quicker than no, sitting at your I, desk. No, I get up at least <laughs> once every hour and I walk around. Maybe I'll do a few jumping jacks in the bathroom. <laughs> no, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesomely dorky. Okay. <laughs> you got to get your heart rate up a little bit. Do it outside the bathroom so we can tape for <laughs> no, a post game. <laughs> no. Okay. And then I'll go back to my desk and I know that I'm not at a high risk of heart disease because I've been sitting for too long. Yeah, you sit, you snack, you eat, you stare at a screen, you get carpal tunnel like what Tom's got, and then it all, you break down. You have all these issues you have, and it's what, you know, it makes sense to an extent. Yeah. Like, look, you, thank look, you. Look, I, of course, look, I'm being an ass on purpose, but it's, my point is moderation, right? So, are, you know, should you take vacation so you can get refreshed, et cetera? Of course you should, right? I don't want people to work 52 weeks straight. That's crazy talk, crazy, crazy talk, right? Now, uh, three weeks in Costa Rica it seems a little excessive. <laughs> okay, a little moderation. That's all I'm saying. Uh -huh. You know. And, all right. You know, two and a half. Micro nap I can live with. You, know? <laughs> you take a nap for an hour and a half outside on the patio. Well, we got issues. <laughs> like, I even actually, you guys know. You know, in reality, all I care is that people get their job done. Yeah, that's I, true. I never have anybody punch a clock. I don't care what you're doing. I don't. Notice if people are napping or doing jumping jacks in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All I care about is, are we putting on the show or are we not? That's it.